Hello, I'm Johnny Key, Commissioner of Education. As a parent, preparing my children for success in life is of utmost importance to me, and I know it is for you too. Please know that we at the Department of Education, as well as your child's teachers and principal, are committed to helping your child be ready for college and careers. To get them ready, strong educational standards are being taught at school, and these standards set the expectations for what your child should learn in each grade. As a state, we have raised the bar with higher academic expectations to ensure your child is prepared to compete and succeed in a highly competitive world. To measure whether or not your child is meeting these expectations, students in grades 3 through 12 took the PARC test last school year. PARC replaced the Arkansas benchmark and end of course tests that had been given in the previous years. You will soon be receiving your child's individual student report for the PARC test in Math and English Language Arts, and these results will fall within a range of Level 1 to Level 5 for each part of the test. A predictable result of raising the bar is that these test results may be lower than what you are accustomed to seeing from your child on the benchmark test. Students who score at Level 4 met grade level expectations and those who score at Level 5 exceeded expectations. Scores at these levels indicate that these students are meeting the expectations for future success in college and careers. If your student scores at these levels, you can provide support and encouragement and stay engaged with your child's school to make sure the learning continues at these high levels. Students who score at level three are approaching academic expectations. These students are showing some success but need improvement to fully be prepared for college and careers. With your continued support, as well as assistance from teachers, these students can and will be successful. Your child's school may be contacting you regarding an Academic Improvement Plan, or AIP, for your child. An AIP includes interventions that will help your child reach academic expectations. Many students who may not have previously had an AIP may be asked to participate in a plan. Students who score at levels one and two will need more focus from parents and intensive interventions from teachers to reach college and career readiness. If your child scores at this level, please contact your child's school to assist in developing an academic improvement plan. You may be asking, what are these interventions and what does that mean to my child? Those are great questions. Examples of interventions may include computer-assisted instruction, extended school days, tutoring, learning labs within the school day, Saturday school, and double blocks of instruction in subject areas where help is most needed. I encourage you to visit with your child's teacher to learn more about these interventions that are available and that could be most helpful for your child's success. This is a critical point that I urge you to remember. Having an AIP does not mean your student is being labeled in a negative way. Having an AIP does mean, however, that you and your child's teachers will have a roadmap for helping your child grow academically and become ready for college and careers. You may find it helpful to visit the Understand the Score website at www.understandthescore.org. This site provides additional information about the park results and what they mean for your child. I think you will find the video, Understanding the Score Report, on that website to be very helpful. To learn more about statewide results, go to our website at www.arkansaued.gov. Real educational success for your child and for Arkansas requires your involvement. I encourage you to become engaged in the conversations in your communities about setting high expectations for students and how your schools are increasing the quality of instruction and providing appropriate interventions to meet these expectations. I encourage you to find out how you can support your child's learning or volunteer to help other children to learn. If you do this, you will help the state of Arkansas move its conversation from one of adequacy to one of excellence for all students throughout our state.